Hello grade 5! Welcome back to my channel! It's me, Mam. And uh, today, eh, meron na naman tayong panibagong lesson tungkol sa ating Science 5, Quarter 3, Week 4. But before that, if you're new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will update it if I have a new upload video. Okay, for today's lessons is about open and closed circuit. Our milk-based objective infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Look around your house. And how many appliances do you see? How many are currently plugged into your outlets? So, sa bahay ay sa... Okay, habang pinapanood nyo to, uh, you have to look around in your uh, house. And then, kung ilan yung appliances nyo na nasa nakikita nyo or nasa loob ng bahay nyo, at ilan din yung uh, nakasaksak as of this moment sa mga outlets, extension, and etc. Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our everyday is in our everyday lives. So, dapat naman talaga kasi sa ba every bahay natin is merong mga gadgets, devices na ginagamitan ng electricity. So, nakikita na talaga natin na Parang part na siya sa buhay natin yung electricity. Importante na rin siya sa atin. Lalo na kapag ikaw yung... Lalo na kapag, kapag meron kayong business, uh, lalo na sa loading, wifi, uh, internet cafe. And nagmamatter talaga doon ang electricity. Unlike kung nasa bundok kayo, uh, gusto nyo lang mag-relax. So, di na kailangan ng electricity doon. Okay, how does electricity flow to your appliances? Paano daw uh, dumadalo yung kuryente doon sa ating mga appliances sa bahay? So, we have two conditions. We have two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. So, merong dalawang kondisyones. So, ano-ano mga yun? First, there must be a source of electricity. So, dapat naman talaga na meron talagang kuryente tayo para magkaroon, para mag-work or gumana yung mga appliances natin. Dapat meron tayo talagang sariling kuryente. Okay? And then, second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Okay, di ba sa mga bahay natin, meron yung breaker, uh, switch, para Ma, para makontrol natin yung daloy ng electricity. And then, meron mga outlet na kung ano-ano meron sa outlet na yun, bakit, ah, bakit nung sinaksak lang natin, nakaplug tayo dun sa extension, ay biglang umilaw, anong meron dun sa mga outlet na yun and extensions. Okay, look at the illustration carefully. So, here, there are four uh, parts. Here, the switch. Ito yung switch. Alam naman natin kung ano yung switch, di ba? Yung wire. Alam na din natin kung ano yung wire. Yung battery or your dry cell and the light bulb. So, una, magkaroon muna tayo ng wire and battery and then switch and the bulb para matesting natin kung nag-work ba yung mga wires na nandun sa mga ito yung mga parts na kailangan doon para magkagawa tayo ng isang circuit. Okay? So, there are four parts. The switch, the wire, the battery, and the bulb. The picture above shows an electrical the picture above shows an electrical circuit which has four parts. A source, the light bulb, the wires, and the switch. So, yung source dito is yung battery. Kasi siya nandyan ang nakastored yung uh, 
energy, yung power. Kasi di ba, uh, parang ngayon wala na masyadong ganyan, pero nung unang panahon talaga meron mga battery, meron pa naman sa mga sasakyan. Pero dun sa mga flashlight na ginagam, yan talaga, yan ang source ng uh, para magka-create ng uh, light. So, here, so there are two types of circuit, the open and the close. Open and close. Madali lang. Okay, so as you can see in this illustration, nakikita naman natin kung anong pinagkaiba ng dalawa. So, sa, sa setup A, open circuit, hindi na, hindi pa umiilaw. Kasi, pero sa setup B, closed circuit, nailaw na yung bulb. Ano kaya sa tingin nyo? Bakit Ah, uh, yung A hindi pa nailaw, yung B ay nailaw. Okay? So, let's uh discuss this. Okay, and set up A, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. For this reason, electricity does not flow while in set up B, a wire is attached to a negative end of the battery while the other wire is attached to the positive end. So, both wires are attached to the bulb, such as a circuit is called a closed circuit. A closed circuit, may, a closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing, el, allowing electricity to flow through it. So, the switches that you see at home are electrical components that can make the circuits of the lights in your homes open or closed. So, to turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. Then, to turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the switch off. Ito si setup A. There is, uh, hindi po complete yung path niya. But ito si setup B, complete yung path niya kasi direction umiilaw. Para daw umilaw ang ating mga ilaw sa bahay, dapat natin i-close yung circuit para ma-umilaw by pushing the switch on. I-close muna natin yung circuit. You have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. Naintindihan nyo, kapag close ang circuit, kailangan mo ipindutin yung switch on para umilaw. Pero pagpatay naman, i-open mo yung circuit by pushing naman sa switch off. Naintindihan? Parang baliktad yung ano nila. Uh, okay, kapag... And then, the activity that you are going to perform will clearly explain. So that uh, condition is started to make a bug light up. So in our learning test 1, prepare the material listed below. If, you're not, if not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask help uh, of your parents, guardians, or any adults of the family if needed. So, the, our uh, title of our activity, Construct Your Own Circuit. Uh, our materials, uh, one 1.5 uh, voltage uh, AA battery, or any battery available at home. Kung wala kayong double A, kung triple A lang kayo meron, or yung mga malalaki, kahit ano available yun sa bahay na battery. Then, maliit na bulb, and copper wire. So, iyon lang po ang kailangan nyo. Battery, small bulb, and a copper wire. Our procedures, the, okay, take note of this, handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. Kasi pag nabasag yan, uh, yung mga glass doon is nakakasugat. Okay? Dapat merong mag-assist sa inyo na uh, parents or any adult of your family. So, ito na po yung copper wire, yung bulbs, and the battery. So, giganitin nyo na lang po. So, there the procedure connect the material as shown in diagram as above. Observe what happens. So, if you want a soft copy of this, please watch until the end. Okay, you must answer the questions. You must answer the question. Okay, in our learning test to label the parts of the electric circuit. 
Okay, pero pag, ano, lagyan mo nilang sa answer sheet nyo is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, kailangan mo nilang isulat ko. Ano, si number 1, si number 1 ba ay si wire ba yan? Si number 2, siya ba si, si battery? Yung mga gano'n. Kasi apat lang naman yung uh, parts ng circuit. di ba Si source, si battery, si uh, light, and si wire. Yun lang. In our learning test 3, label the following circuit with open circuit or closed circuit. So, yung answer nyo lang is open circuit and closed circuit. So, there are 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yan po. Isagotan nyo lang closed and open. In our learning test for draw an example of open and closed circuit, consider the rubric below in your in doing the test. Sorry. Okay, you have to draw open and closed circuit. But, kailangan nyo basahin yung description yung rubrics natin para mataas ang inyong points. Okay? Kapag upang maging perfect ang inyong score, the drawing represents a clear understanding of the concept. Yun po. So, dito po inyo i-drawing sa mga ganyan, ganyan yung uh, format, open circuit and closed circuit. In our learning test 5, write a brief essay with at least five sentences and what it is important to switch off appliances when not in use, consider the rubric below in doing the test. Uh, brief essay lang, mga limang pangusap. Uh, bakit importante ang pag-switch off sa ating mga appliances? Yun lang. Then, uh, consider the rubric, yung five points gen is the main idea stands out and is supported by detailed information. Sige po, kapal, para maging perfect yung learning test 5 nyo. Okay, so, e, e, mag-draw uh, kayo ng rectangle din. So, is, e, dun yun na lang isulat yung 5 sentences. So, open, and, uh, open circuit and closed circuit. So, Venn diagram. So, there is a gap of no complete path from one end of the circuit to the another. And then, it makes the bulb light up because of the path of electricity is complete. So, dito sa uh, magkatulad nila, a road in which an electrical current flow around. So, pareho naman talaga dumadalo yung uh, kuryente sa kanila. Pero, si open, hindi siya direct na nag naglalights. Unlike kay close, na direct siyang umiilaw. Okay, in your learning test, for read each uh, item carefully, choose the letter of your answer. Okay, we have five I item and Thank you and God bless us all. And answers are in the, the description box and also the soft copy of our week 4. Thank you for watching guys and God bless and mabuhay po tayong lahat.